Well, what do we need to watch for as we get ready for the new year? And once we get into the new year, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be looking at. Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Do me a favor, smash that like button. And Santa will be kind to you. So this is the show where we share the real estate data and talk to you about the numbers. So not only can you be on top of the market, but so that you can also be a hit at all the cocktail parties. So what am I seeing? We're obviously sales are continuing to go down and they will because it's, you know, the holiday season. Inventory is going to go down because it's the holiday season. Second week of January, all of this normally changes. If some of these things don't change, then it's going to be a game changer. So here's where we're at with monthly average sales price going from a monthly average of 600 down to 533. This should change on the second week of January and start working its way back up because it's being drugged down due to the holidays again. But if it doesn't, that's an indication we could be approaching a bear market. And the real challenge here, too, is, is inventory, the way it keeps going down and down. And it goes down in November, December, but it's going down at a faster clip than it did last year, the year before, and almost kind of at the level exceeding what we saw in 2020. And there's 2021, 2020 right there. There's 2019. Sure wasn't going down that fast then. So new listings are just not showing up. This is one that I want to watch very carefully. This is the Cromford Market Index. Let me see if I can get my little red pen to work. It's not working on this chart. But you can see right here on the right-hand side, see that blue line going up? That's new listings. And that is the Cromford Supply Index just like it was over here in 2005. See how it just shot up like one of Elon Musk's rockets? Well, it did that here too, but then once it crossed the line here to where the supply started meeting the market, the market's coming down, supply's going up, inventory went sideways, which I showed you on the other chart, inventory's actually coming down. So the supply, instead of continuing its upward projectile here, has stalled so what do we want to watch well we want to watch and see if that changes on the second week of january it's not going to be a huge indicator but it's worth it's worth watching because especially if you want to compare to other years we don't always duplicate what happened 10 years ago or 20 years ago but you know supply and demand says everything and right now uh, the people that are really winning the real estate show are new builds new construction Folks, they're busy. They're selling homes. And the reason are the reason that they are is they're able to buy down the interest rate for you as low as 4.9%. So people are running out there and, and taking advantage of that. You're not seeing that in the resale market. Somebody's have to really cough up a lot of money to get you down to 4.9% in the resale market. But uh, new construction, you know, there's spec homes out there now and there's closeouts. So they're, they're having a good month. They're having a good quarter. So let's see what happens the second week of January with them. And uh, let's see what happens with the iBuyers. There's still 1,100 open-door homes out there. What are they going to do after the first of the year? What are interest rates going to do? A lot of chatter that they may go down this week. Hard to tell. There's also a lot of chatter that they may go up later on in 2023. Now we do know that when rates took a little dip down to 5.5 from 6.5 in July, August closings were up. So that's an indicator that 5.5 is kind of a sweet spot where buyers come out of the sidelines and jump back into the market. So if we do end up with rates coming down to that point at some point in this cycle, then uh, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll we'll see some movement. Now the other thing I'm looking at too is list price and sales price. So the list price has kind of leveled out as well. People have put their homes on the market and they're kind of holding tight. And the difference between what they're getting is from 282 a square foot to 273. So that's $9 a square foot. So they're asking up at 282 a square foot and they're not quite getting that, but they're not getting hammered that bad. 
We did see for a while there, right after rates shot up, that people hurried up to put their mar the homes on the market and they had unrealistic expectations. And all of a sudden, we were having 7,000 price reductions on a weekly basis. Now those price reductions are down to about 3,000. So that means people are attempting to price closer to the market. And about 3,000 of them have decided that they need to pull them back. Again, some of those are open door homes. And uh, we got to see what's going to happen with those guys. They took 182 of them temporarily off the market that they said are off the market for renovation. We'll see how much of that is really going on. Are they finally going to fix them up like they should have in the first place? And why are we always banging on open door? Well, you know, we're not really chuckling at them. But if you can't make money when real estate's going up, how are you going to make money now when real estate's going down? And... Uh, they don't have that much cash left from what I've read. Maybe a year, maybe less than a year. They've got a pretty high burn rate. So we've got to see what's going to go on with those guys. And the reason we're paying attention to it is between the 400 and 600,000 range, they're 11% of our listings right now. So that's a big deal. So we need to continue to watch that. But let's see on the second week of January, when we come fresh out of the gates, if we start seeing some seasonal norms, or if we start seeing numbers going the other way that tell us this bear market's probably going to be with us for a while. It may not be a short-term little blip on the monthly average sales price. Stay tuned. Any questions, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com.